Hello everybody, Frankie Day here for Frankie Day Models. Okay fellas, for Tuesday, I have the final reveal, video number four, for my second entry for the transport group build. My C-46 Commando by Williams Brothers, 172nd scale. Okay guys, she's all done. Got her sitting up here next to me on Lazy Susan. I posted some pictures on the uh, Airfix Modeling page on Facebook. To out there if all you guys want to view it. And, uh, and, uh, what else I got going on there? That's about it. But the final reveal. I've been working on the, uh, the PS1 Shinmia. And I also have been working on the Canada a little bit. So I'll probably be working more on that while this uh, video uploads uh, for y'all to, to watch and enjoy. Okay, guys, I'm about two days from Thanksgiving. Uh, before we proceed with the uh, the video, the final reveal, I'd like to wish and thank everybody out there for your wonderful comments and also my new subscribers. I'm very delighted and very honored. And um, I'd like to also wish everybody out there a very happy and safe Thanksgiving, guys. These are very important family holidays which are very very important and uh, right now this Thanksgiving for me is going to be a little lonely but uh, my daughter invited me over for dinner so I'll, probably, I'll be going over to my daughter's and um, and I might be able to uh, take my video camera right here and shoot a little little Frankie Day home action with my grandkids from Tennessee and and uh, my daughter, she all coming down, and uh, so we're all going to get together and uh, have a, a wonderful dinner. And and she's kind of worried about me now being by myself now, and, and I think she may try to coax me in the move to Tennessee. And uh, I've been doing a little thinking, and uh, so it's something to ponder on anyway. And it may come to that, I don't know, but. For my well-being and for the remainder years of my health and my life, it might be a good idea. I could be around my grandkids all the time and teach them how to build models. And I'll still be on YouTube. I'll still be here. I ain't going nowhere but here. I got a long, 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 long haul to haul away from me. And a lot of the models, Bill, I got to. I got to be here to finish up all my models. So I'll be here for a long while, guys. So anyway, I'd like to wish everybody a Thanksgiving and, and enjoy us with your family and, and enjoy life because it's very, it's very, uh, it's, it's home. It's home. Okay. I'm going to put her in her new home. I'm going to put her in a box. And uh, I'll ship her down below in the bus unlocker. I'll look at her someday when I feel like I'm going to watch her again. <laughs> Okay, I've got this done. Now, anybody who's got this kit in their, sca their stash, it's a good kit, guys, but it needs a lot of work on it. A lot of clean, a lot of flash. It needs to be done on it. And uh, it, it opens doors for a lot of stuff. The kit is very basic. It, at the time that kit was being produced, it was, it was pretty much elementary compared to what they had today by Williams Brothers. They're just typical Williams Brothers kits. They just, in a way, that puts you in mind of Heller with some of their kits they have. Not Heller, but Mach 72. Excuse me, Heller. I don't mean to, to impure. Uh, for Mach 72 out of, out of France, their models are very, very crude and it requires a lot of cleaning and flash and preparation work before its assembly is uh, achieved. But... Uh, Williams Brothers kit, C-46 Commando, it's a good kit, it goes together very easy. And uh, there's a lot of good information in there where you can get uh, more uh, research. So you got the internet out here nowadays, there's a lot of research there, so you can belay what it says on the instructions. Just go to the internet for your search engine and you get all the research you need on, on, on this and almost anything. So it's out there for us models, guys. All you got to do is just kind of go for it. Okay. Four videos, this thing is done. I kind of took my time out, work here and there, take my job and everything. It's a tedious job covering this thing with a, 
with this aluminum tape I got here. But like I say, guys, it's the only way. It's the best way there is. When you want to, if you want to go to a natural aluminum aluminum uh, uh, effect, it'll get you real of this. Was you just got to follow the pad lines. When you lay on the tape, just make sure you don't lay it all over all the place. It cut out so that it, it can't. It won't go on that way. You just got to use small sections of the tape. And what your Bible is on putting on the aluminum tape on your model is is the recessed panel lines. Either they're recessed or they're raised. But no matter where they're at, they will be there. That tape will tell you there's a panel line there. And you just cut out your tape from where you don't want it at and pull the excess off and join another piece of tape up next to it. And you'd be surprised once you follow that method, you've actually foil the whole airplane as a real one and you look at it with light hit them sometimes you can see different shades of the paneling in there that's the brilliance of aluminum so it's a good effect you may see it out here too a little bit as we uh, reveal the uh, the final the final thought on this okay also it's not uh, prepared or made for the novice the novice may be able to try to put this together you probably can no problem but there's a lot of stuff on there that's that uh, that needs to be done, you know, before you you put it together, uh, sanding, the fitting of parts, and everything. I don't think there's no locating pens on this at all. So you gotta be quite certain when you line up your parts on it. It's good kit, guys. It's excellent. I got another one of my stashes over there, and I think I'll make uh, Smiley Airlines all OD with neutral gray in the bottom. But I believe I'm the first that's made the natural aluminum commando here. And uh, she came out very pretty. I love her. And she loves me too. Okay, guys. We're going to zoom in to the final reveal of the uh, Curtis C-46 commando. High altitude transport of 1942 and end of the war and post-war. A lot of private organizations and firms bought these from the government after the war. They use them especially around oil oil industry such as Union Oil, such as uh, uh, Esso Oil, Shell Oil, Texco Oil, all these oils companies. They bought these out to haul oil field equipment in. And these are the only airplanes at the time that can actually fly over the Himalayas. That's why it's designed with the pressurized fuselage, and they got roller, they got roller bearings on the cargo folders thing to make it easy to uh, to uh, load load up load up uh, cargo and whatnot on there. I don't know if they use these as jump planes for paratroopers. They probably did. I don't know. I haven't really researched it out and figured out. Uh, if anybody jumped on these things, they probably did, I don't know. But all I know is these were cargo aircraft and these were very good. They were they can carry a lot more than the C forty seven Dakota. And uh, the only bad thing about the kid I don't like is the decals they give you. I mean I bet there's better decals for this out there. I know there is. I just hasn't researched them out and uh made a decision to use those decals. I just built it right out of the box. And uh, this is a nice airplane. Uh, I really enjoyed this thing. You can see how the the effects of the aluminum. See how this guys how the light hits it and everything? How it changes the, the, the shades. This is what you see in photographs of these airplanes flying. Not only these airplanes, I mean natural aluminum finishes. You can see the different tones of the aluminum on there. Just right here as you see it. See how it changes? Get an effect like that using metalizer paints, so you got to tone your natural aluminum down. He's using blue or black. 
and with maskings. It's quite effective. But I like the natural, like this. I did a 377 Clipper, Boeing Stratocruiser. I believe it was um, a Minecraft kit. It was Pan American. I did one just like that, in this color too. It's down there below in the basin locker. I vowed to go down there and hunt it up, see if I can be able to uh, find her and post the bills of the past. Now you can see all those aluminum guys. See how they're changing right there, different tones? Well, Frankie Day shows you good stuff, guys. I make sure you guys, uh, I give you guys all the tricks of my trade, but I do. That's probably somebody before me that's covered using this aluminum tape. But I've been using it for many, many years. At least uh, about 30, 35, 36 years, almost 40. I used to do heat and air conditioning. I saved rolls that I still got rolls of this stuff. I got my contour gauges. I got all my sheet metal tools. I got everything. And uh, so that tape comes in handy. You guys, get yourself rolls about six bucks. Just follow the panel lines, and you'll never go wrong. Next video I got coming up, fellas, is going to be uh, be the Canator, and uh, that's going to be very easy to paint. And um, this one color is red at the bottom. I'm gonna get the video of that come up pretty soon. I gotta get me some primer paint. I'm old Frankie Days out of primer. So tomorrow I gotta go down to the store and get some primer. My social check will come in tomorrow and I'll get my pension in probably the following, probably next week maybe. And I get paid for my job tomorrow too. So two paychecks one day makes Frankie Day smile. So there she is, fellas. And uh, that's a fun reveal, video four, for my second entry on my transport group build. And uh, Matt Hill of Matt's Models is doing his Oratlas by Heller. And he's doing a, a fabulous job on it so far. He's got the, doing some scratch built details using plastic card to enhance the canopy the compartment a little better than what the kit offers. He's doing a little scratch stuff on it. He's making that thing look sweet. And uh, I got thinking about him, about, about his Oratlas. And I kept on saying to myself, I know for the love of life of me, I got one somewhere in my stash. And I was so curious. I went down there in uh, my stash pile number two down there in the bosun locker. And I found one. Yep, tell her. And I got that out. And uh, it's a good kit. A little smaller than a C119, but it's, uh, I think it more or less uses jump ships or just carry small cargo. I don't know, but they're a beautiful airplane. You know, they really, they really, that Northern Atlas is a, North Atlas is a good airplane. Okay, guys, uh, tomorrow's the eve of Thanksgiving. So I ain't got nothing to shake in tomorrow. And uh, I'll probably have a video maybe by the Saturday on the uh, on the Canader. And probably the PS1 too. I'll have that coming up also. So look for those videos right there. So I got those coming up. I got Thanksgiving coming up this Thursday and we're going to I'll be, like I mentioned earlier in the video, I'll be at my daughter's house, so I'll be away from the modeling bench all day for that event because i got to spend time with my family, and I, and I sure should be good to be with my daughter. 
and uh, make old Frankie Day happy. And um, I guess thus far, I guess none of us heard any more about that COPPA situation going down. I think it'll blow over like a hooli. Like I say, all of us YouTubers are big whipping boys for their mistakes. They got to pick on somebody. As far as I'm concerned, all of us models have done nothing to deserve this kind of a threat. Somebody's got to be the whipping boy, like I mentioned it. Okay, guys, it's time for old Frankie Day to bail out of here right now. And uh, I got me and one thing to do. I got to go check the laundry right now and prepare for dinner tonight. And I'll be working on that Canadian, get her shaking good, get an engine that sails, get all the sub assemblies done on it, that I can go ahead and fill prime and sand, and uh, voila, paint job, final reveal. Okay, like, uh, like this, I can't stress this anymore. I'll do it all the time, every time I make a video. Make mama happy, happy wife, happy life. God gives you a woman. Her flesh, your flesh, all one flesh. And take care of your woman, guys. Lord knows I miss mine. And uh, take care of your kids. Take care of your babies. Take care of your affairs. Spend wisely. Focus wisely when you drive a car. Spend wisely, like I mentioned. Buy some some kits. Winter's here for now. I just now got here. Ain't going nowhere, but but big winter time. And uh, you got tea. Beer, wine, whiskey, whatever you got. Nice crackling fire or just build the models and see the cares away. This is definitely model building weather. A lot of good modeling projects are done over the winter months. I mean, Lord knows I got a bunch. I got too many. And I do get them done eventually. Okay, this is Frankie Day signing up for Frankie Day Models. You know, take care. God love you guys very much. And have a very happy, safe Thanksgiving. And please be safe out there, guys. You got a lot of guys going like this. You know, that happens, you know. And uh, so watch out for that, too, on the road. You got a lot of guys out there. People don't care about themselves or no one else. So you got to watch out for them, too. You always got to keep, keep them in sight all the time. We'll all take care of them. Okay, it's Frankie Day signing up Frankie Day Models. Catch y'all later on the next video on the Canadian or on also on the PS1. Bye, boys. Take care, fellas. God love you guys. <laughs>